Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Inspirational Journeys. My name is Ann Harrison, and today I am speaking with Emmanuel Rose, who has written a series of children's picture books that, and I'm going to ask him a little bit more because I wasn't able to read them, but about plants and plant life. So welcome to the show, Emmanuel. Thank you so much, Ann. I'm, I'm pl glad to be here and look forward to our conversation. Thank you. So why don't you start by introducing yourself to the listeners and the viewers. And the reason I do this is because nobody can tell your story better than you can. <laughs> All right, sure. Uh, my name is Emmanuel Rose, and I've um, been working as a marketing and sales professional for the last three decades. And uh, as the grandchildren came along, then um, I wanted to have a way to influence them um, since we're, we don't live too close to them. And so uh, I started uh, to write these uh, these various children's books so we could uh, we could tell some stories and I could tease them into thinking about things maybe they weren't getting in regular life. Wow. OK, so I was going to ask you what inspired what what was the aha moment that or how did you know when you were called to write these books? Yeah. So, you know, I talked about it a lot with my wife and and as the grandkids were, were getting, you know, a little bit older and. Um, and I was on a hunting trip, had, uh, had, had a long, long walk and, and no, no turkeys sitting next to the river, uh, just relaxing. And, uh, and quite literally there was a red tail hawk circling around the, the Wanaha river. And it, it all just hit me. Um, the grandson's name is Henry. So it was Wanaha Henry, the red tail hawk it just kind of flooded into my mind and, uh, I said, okay, well, this is, I'm going to write these stories about natural history and about, about the animals of Northeastern Oregon, and uh, we'll see where it goes. Wow. Okay. And then, and I noticed on your website, your children's books also come with um, seeds and other, um, sorry. Um, yeah. Activities. With, right. Something yeah. Activities yeah. and things. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, the first uh, the first book was called Seeds to a Tree, and it was about forest fire and and about planting trees. And so that has a, a, a pack of dug dug for seeds for the kids to to grow grow a tree and plant it somewhere. And then um, this next book is called uh, The Secrets of the Grouse, and the grouse's secret is stillness. So teaching kids to it's okay to just sit there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> But that one, um, I introduced the idea of the pollinator plants and the and the pollinator animals, so uh, butterflies and hummingbirds and bees, and so uh, that one shipping with uh, with seeds to plant um, for uh, for to bring the pollinators into the yard. So I've noted so what it sounds like is your your books were written for, as educational tools as well as entertainment. Absolutely. Yeah. So um, my my goal is to introduce, you know, some of some of the plants I give, I say the Latin names in there. So it's uh, it's entertaining, just not just for the kids, but also for the parents. They're going to learn some things. Uh, if anything that I mentioned about the environment is going to be um, accurate and grounded in in science. And uh, so it, it starts to, to trigger trigger uh, some inquiry that's uh you know scientific and as well as the story being fun and, and inspirational oh wow that is so amazing so what would you want kids and parents alike to take away from this series well the, the biggest thing is uh, that to ask questions and to find the answers right so uh some of the things i leave open-ended so that if if it is it triggers uh, some thought that the parents got to go do some more research to answer the questions in the book or uh, just the entertainment and uh, and hopefully building some interest in being outside in nature and away from away from the screens and away from the computers. Uh -huh. Yeah, that, 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 that's tr that's so important these days because kids are so attached to the screens. I love yeah. nature myself. So <laughs> any tips for writers that you that any little things that you learned along the way as you as you wrote these books yeah i mean i think the biggest thing for writers is that uh we've got to schedule a time and we got to write every day right and even if it's the the worst junk the worst 
worst writing ever that you're just you're you're getting in the habit of writing and uh you know annie lamont and and some of those natalie goldberg say this say that right it just write the worst stuff that's ever been written but you got to do it on a consistent basis um are you talking about bird by bird yeah yeah i read that one too <laughs> <laughs> she's done some others since then but bird by bird was definitely a good one especially that prompt about school lunches <laughs> <laughs> yeah um so i think that that's the the biggest thing is that we if you're if you say you're a writer you say you want to write a book then you gotta write every day and uh and then get an editor that's the other thing i think yeah. i saw some funny posts on social media this week where they're like well do i really need an editor if i'm writing children's books you're like absolutely you need not just one editor but you probably need three just to go through and and read it and make sure that it makes sense to a variety of, of people um yeah mm -hmm. and that's one of the another thing that i feel like i've been called to do is edit so <laughs> nice yeah. Yep. So I'm doing edits for Celebrate Lit Publishing. All right. uh, speaking of publishing, did you self-publish these books or did you submit them to a? Yeah, I, I'm lucky enough that since I have a, a marketing team, uh, we just we run it through as a project. And so I was able to self-publish and um, I sell both on my own website and on Amazon.com. So um, that's that's how I've gone about it. Are they in ebooks as well as paperback or just the paper? Yeah, just the... yeah ebooks also. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Did you use Kindle Unlimited or did you? Yeah. Oh, the children's books actually are just print. I'm sorry, my my marketing books are are oh, okay. e books and and uh, and print also. Yep. Oh, okay, cool. So, um, another question from the marketing aspect: Did your marketing background help you to um, be able to market these books to the well? Of course, the parents because the children are not going to buy the books, but <laughs> right. Yeah, absolutely. The the you know the the irony is the easy part is writing the book. And yes, getting, that's true. <laughs> <getting it> printed. <laughs> I After hear that, you. That you're you're kind of you're grinding away figuring out how you're going to actually get other people to to pay you money to to take hold of the book. So, um, having having the marketing background definitely helped, and and then realizing that the way that I've written these books, they're evergreen. They're going to outlast me. And oh, yeah. that if, if I, if I only sold 10 a year for the rest of my life, that would be fine. Uh, Cause the, the, the messages still go on and, and they'll outlive me. Oh, wow. Yeah. I love that. So um, is there one other final piece of advice that you want to leave the listeners and viewers with today before we close? Well, I'd say you write your story, picture the, picture the, the people that you, you want to read it and and um move it in uh that story along or that information along from your heart so that uh you're giving the biggest gift that you can to the reader wow that's amazing so where can people find you online at emmanuelrose.com yep so that's my author website Okay, cool. So we challenge you today to go out there and read to get inspired, write something inspiring, and share your creation with the world. For when you've touched one life, you've touched thousands. Thanks for joining us here on Inspirational Journeys. And remember, folks, your story matters because mm -hmm. you have a message to share with the world, and the message you share can only be it can only be shared in the special way that you have been given to share it. So go out there and share that message with the world. Again, thanks for joining us and have a blessed day.